Hello, welcome. Here you've got a copy of your mortgage calculator and I want to explain exactly what you're looking at here. Let's start with the fact that there are two tabs on the bottom. One tab is set up to calculate your mortgage for a 30-year fixed rate. So for 30 years it's going to take you to pay off that mortgage and the amount you pay each month is going to be fixed because the rate is not changing. And over here, we're looking at the same situation, except we're doing it over the course of 15 years. So the first thing you're going to do is find the house that you want to buy. We're going to assume for this video that the cost of your house is 100000 That'll, of course, be different uh, for you. It depends on what you find, but we'll use this number as a round number to get started. Now, the first thing is we're looking at a down payment. We're going to assume that your down payment is 20% of whatever the price of the house is, right? That's the money you have to put up front in cash to pay off the down payment of the house. The mortgage rate, we're going to use 3.08%. It's the current average. And you can see that it displays 3%, but it's really using 3.08%. The mortgage amount is the loan that's left over after you paid your down payment. So in our case, it's just going to be 80,000 because 20% of 100,000 point two times 100,000 has been paid off. But here's the formula. I'm going to copy and paste it. It's 80% of the house price that's left because you're paying off 20%. So 80% remains for our loan. I'm going to ignore the auto autofill there. So in this case, our mortgage, which is our loan, is $80,000. So what's that going to What's that going to equal out to, right? What do we have to pay each month? How long is this going to take uh, to pay off? Well, 30 years. But how much are we paying each month? How much interest? How much principal? So on and so forth. Okay. So the yearly payment. This is the PMT function. It's got a negative sign in the front because we don't want to... A payment function is how much you're paying out. We want to display that as a positive number, so we're taking the opposite of it. This function looks at B3 and divides by 12, so it looks at the mortgage rate the 3.08%, it divides it by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So it's splitting that percent over 12 months. And then the next thing it looks at is B4 times 12. So that's the number of payments essentially, right? We have 30 years and 12 months per year. So there are going to be 30 times 12 payments, 360. And then B6 is the loan amount itself, the mortgage amount, which is $80,000. And this is a yearly payment, so we multiply it by 12. So I'm going to copy and paste that in here. I'm going to delete the little quotation mark in the front. And now it's going to show me that each year I'm going to pay over $4,000. I want to click on B and then align it with everything on the right so it looks pretty. And then I repeat the process. Now it's going to be the same number divided by 12. See how there's no multiply by 12 on the end of this function? It's the same formula, but it's not multiplying by 12 because it's by month, not by year. So paste that in, copy and paste, delete the quotation mark. And then the sum is here, this last thing is going to sum up the column, the total that we're paying for this loan, because we're not going to pay $80,000 since there's interest that we pay off uh, as we go along. So I'm going to copy and paste this formula in and delete a little quotation mark, and there we go. So right now this is um, only adding up. It's adding up everything in column G, and this table is not done yet, so it's a small number. We're going to fix that by going to Format and Number, and I want to pick Currency, do Rounded. Okay, so now everything's set up, and now there are some formulas here, right? This looks at, these are formulas that look at uh, PPMT, looks at the principal paid per marking period. This formula over here, IPMT, looks at the interest paid per marking period. The total adds those up. You pay off the principal, that's, that's you're paying off some part of the loan, uh, the actual $80,000 loan. The interest is just paying off the interest you've accumulated. So it's really interesting. Your first mortgage payment in this case would be $340, about. But 200 of that went towards the interest, and only about 130 paid off the principal. So we only lower our balance by about $130, even though we're paying $340, right? Because most of our payment is going towards interest, and a smaller amount is going towards principal. And then this process repeats each month. Essentially, the principal is going down each time by the principal we're paying as we go along. So to get this formula to work now and calculate everything, what's really cool about these formulas, I think, is that everything is set up now so that everything is paid off in precisely 30 years. So you want to select these two rows. Don't include the first row, just these two. And then scroll over, you see this cross, and just drag it down 
to 360. Uh, 361 because the first row of our spreadsheet is uh, a heading. So I'm going to pause here for a moment. I'm not going to finish it. I'll let you do that. But what you'll know, notice when you get down to the 361st row, that's where is that for me, boom, right here. When you get down here, you, you'll notice that the final number, the final principle remaining is zero. That's how you know you've got it. And then you can answer all the questions in the post. You can look at the total amount paid. It'll be the number here. You can see it's already at $78,000, and we're nowhere near done paying off this loan, right? Look at where we're at. We still have 37000 left to pay off. So this number right here should be way above the mortgage amount. And then when you go to the 15-year loan, you repeat the entire process. Use the same house price. Down payment should be 20%. Mortgage rate is 3.08%, and so on and so forth. So it's the same process. Now later on in this discussion post, we ask what happens if you change the mortgage rate to a different percentage. So all you have to do is change this number to whatever you're being asked to change it to, and then it recalculates everything, which is why these spreadsheets are so fantastic. They're dynamic. Once you change a number, everything follows. All right, thank you.